If you don't use an inventory list from your supplier, or you have multiple suppliers, or you just want to use a custom inventory list, you can download our generic inventory sheet. First, click on the Manager tab. Then, click Item Import. Click Configure Supplier Import. And click Download Generic Excel File. So this will give you our generic inventory sheet, which you can use to update your inventory. Uh, mine might look a little bit different than the one you download, but it's relatively the same. So this sheet will allow you to enter items along with a description, a UPC or an item lookup code, the item cost, price, quantity, department and category, supplier, and reorder number. So all you need to do is fill in the relevant information and save the file. There are a couple notes I should mention. Everything on this sheet needs to be formatted as text. So be careful if you're pasting from another file. So here I've pasted from a, a different inventory list. And you can see here this cell is formatted as number. So we need to change that to format as text. And a good way to make sure you do this right is just enter all of your inventory and when you're done, just select all of the cells and format them all as text at once. That's a good way just to make sure you don't forget that step. Uh, also, you cannot leave any blank spaces on a line that has an item. So here, for example, we do not have a reorder number. We can't leave it blank or we're going to run into some problems when we import. So just put zero if you don't want to use a specific cell. And finally, when you save, Make sure to save the file as a Excel 97 2003 workbook. Uh, we can only accept files that end in .xls, so make sure you do not save it as an Office 2010 file, which has an extension of .xlsx. So just click Save as Type and select Excel 97 2003 workbook. And that's all there is to it. Now you're ready to upload your inventory.